The fallout from the release of Jeffrey Epstein's court documents continues to make waves throughout high-powered political, business and Hollywood circles. There is no suggestion that anyone named has been involved in illegal activities. Sky News All-Stars Rita Panahi and Paul Murray take a deep dive into the case that has a lot of powerful people very nervous. Jeffrey Epstein rose from a humble mathematics teacher in local schools to one of Wall Street's most powerful players, managing the fortunes of billionaires and entrusted by the elites. The life of Jeffrey Epstein is largely shrouded in secrecy. Much like his clients and friends, the full scope of his wealth, business interests and assets are largely unknown. There's so much secrecy around Epstein that we don't really know how much money he made at his peak. But according to court filings from July 2019, he made over half a billion dollars. But most of his assets were tied to hedge funds, stocks, as well as properties around the globe. There are a lot of theories about how Epstein made his money. But over the coming months, investigators will be parsing through his financial statements and hopefully we'll have some more answers. Epstein surrounded himself with rich businessmen and beautiful women hosting lavish dinner parties in his opulent New York City apartment, as well as his properties across the globe, including his private island. However, in 2015, questions were asked. News and gossip website Gawker released what they referred to as Jeffrey Epstein's little black book of over 1,000 names and numbers, including Hollywood actors, presidents, media identities and businessmen. Sky News does not suggest any wrongdoing by any named associates of Jeffrey Epstein. And whilst he was forming close connections with the rich and powerful, Jeffrey Epstein had a hidden dark secret. Shocking stories of illegal behaviour came to light in Florida in 2008. He apparently had uh, sometimes prostitutes and uh, friends who were adult women procure these young girls to come into his home and some have said that that was up to several girls per day that were then coming in under the, the guise of giving him a massage for money which he was offering to pay them several hundred dollars for and then once they were there, or once he lured them inside, then led into much worse and uh, ultimately in sexual abuse. But despite claims from alleged victims and witnesses, prosecutors scrapped several serious charges and agreed to a deal with Epstein's legal team. He, back in 2008, pleaded guilty under a, what, what was known as a secret bargain deal to uh, sexually abusing a young girl, an underage girl. And instead of Instead of being convicted and going to jail for what could have been the rest of his life, he ultimately got off on a 13-month sentence and during that time was in a, a pretty luxe prison cell uh, where he had uh, television, was allowed out for up to 12 hours a day to go to work. And what was also referred to as basically the, the deal of the century for him. It was a big win for Epstein. Journalist Julie K. Brown saw the injustices in the case and pursued Epstein through her reporting for years following his release from prison. There's other cases involving uh, Mr. Epstein that have been sealed. He, that was another one of the ways that he manipulated the justice system. His, his lawyers were able to seal a lot of the information and that's why the Miami Herald went after this particular case as a way to try to um, start uh, unsealing some of the things that have been secret in all, all these years. Finally, in 2019, Epstein was arrested and charged with sex trafficking. His New York City apartment was raided, with authorities finding a trove of photographs of underage girls, as well as cash and other damning evidence. But a trial for Jeffrey Epstein never came. Shockingly, the hedge fund manager was found dead in his prison cell in New York City whilst waiting for his trial. The official cause of death was suicide. Despite Epstein's death, the dark shadow of his past followed his close friends and associates. Sky News All-Star Paul Murray says Bill Gates gave a really weird answer when asked about his relationship with Jeffrey Epstein. Bill Gates gave a really weird interview today where he was asked about his ties to Jeffrey Epstein. I'll let him dig down from here. Is there a lesson for you, for anyone else looking, looking at this? 
Well, he's dead. So, uh, you know, in general, you always have to be careful. What? Sky News All-Star Rita Panahi also revealed the close ties between President Obama's officials and Jeffrey Epstein. And Jeffrey Epstein's private calendar has been made available, or segments of it, and it showed a number of meetings with a number of officials from the Obama administration. The documents contain emails and scheduled meetings with the now CIA director, William Burns, Obama's White House counsel, Catherine Rumela, and Professor Noam Chomsky. Fascinating stuff there, so fascinating stuff. Uh, why were these characters meeting with Jeffrey Epstein? There are so many questions when there's, it comes to this man. There's so many questions to be answered on this and whether the actual meetings did take place. There's a lot that hasn't come out yet, but it obviously shows the power that he had uh, to, you know, have these scheduled meetings with big names like this. So I can't imagine the left particularly in the Obama administration, would have been particularly happy with this information coming to light recently. Yeah, yeah the, the, no names mentioning, I don't know, Donald J. Trump. I've noticed it's that. And, and, and the point has been made that if, if Donald Trump was on any of the flight lo logs to on the Lolita Express, that would have been leaked from day <laughs> one. So the fact that his name doesn't come up, uh, you can rest assured that he's... Uh, not involved. And in the most recent update to the Epstein case, redacted court documents were released which exposed the names of over 200 Jeffrey Epstein associates, including victims, business people, politicians and celebrities such as Leonardo DiCaprio, Bruce Willis, Bill Clinton and Stephen Hawking. There is no suggestion that these associates were involved in any illegal activity. OK, we've got some breaking news into us here at Sky News. Hundreds of pages of unsealed documents from a lawsuit connected to the accused sex trafficker Jeffrey Epstein have been released. Now, the documents are expected to include nearly 200 names, including some of Epstein's accusers, prominent business people, politicians and more. Now, this is the first set of documents to be unredacted as part of a court order that was made on December the 18th now. Epstein's former confidant, Ghislaine Maxwell, commented on the release of the sealed documents, saying she's only focused on clearing her own name. Ghislaine Maxwell has responded to recently unsealed US court documents which detail claims by victims of convicted sex trafficker Jeffrey Epstein. The documents, which were released on Wednesday in New York, give insight into the relationships between Mr Epstein and prominent public figures, including Bill Clinton, Donald Trump, Prince Andrew and Michael Jackson. Ms Maxwell issued a statement through her lawyers saying she took no position on the court's recent decision to unseal documents. Her focus is on the upcoming appellate argument asking for her entire case to be dismissed. And Sky News All-Star Mick Mulvaney says there has been a tremendous amount of attention on these latest updates but suggests the fallout will be a lot of smoke with no fire. It's been a tremendous amount of attention, a lot of a lot of smoke, but no fire. There's a lot of very prominent names on there. You've got Bill Clinton, you've got Donald Trump, you've got Prince Andrew. But as you've mentioned, there's no real new allegations about wrongdoing by any of these very, very famous people. So while it's somewhat salacious and interesting, it doesn't seem to change anybody's position about what went wrong with Mr. Epstein, that uh, yes, Bill Clinton knew him. Everybody knew that. Yes, Bill Clinton flew on his airplane, but he did not go down to the island where his alleged sex parties were taking place. Bill Clinton took the airplane to go on humanitarian missions overseas and so forth. You can tell similar stories about other famous people. So it looks like this will be much ado about nothing. There are still, still a few names that have not been released. And it may be that those will give us some new in insights as to whatever actually happened with Mr. Epstein. But the bottom line is this. He had a lot of very, very famous friends. There is no question about that. And if anything, this raises new questions about his death. Was he, did he really commit suicide in jail or, or was there some effort to have him eliminated? Mick Mulvaney also says high profile people like Donald Trump or Bill Clinton named in the documents won't experience any reputational damage.
Uh, look, look when, when you've been involved in a riot against the national capital in order to change the outcome of an election, uh, you know, doing this probably doesn't change very many people's opinions about it, uh, about you. Keep in mind, as you correctly pointed out, there's no allegations of wrongdoing against Mr. Trump, against Mr. Clinton, et cetera. In fact, I talked to the president about this when it first came out several years ago. And he's like, Mick, you know, this guy was really weird and I had him banned from Mar-a-Lago. So there's really no legitimate allegations of wrongdoing against the former President Trump or against former President Clinton. It's not going to have any political impact, I don't think at all. Okay.